Okay, let's see if we can get some close-ups of these books in the update video. This one here, Stone Age Spear and Arrow Points, Mid-Continental mid and Eastern, by Noel D. Justice. Another book by Noel D. Justice, Stone Age Spear and Arrow Points of the Southwestern United States. This one is California and the Great Basin, same author. Archaeology of New York State by William Ritchie. I think this particular book with this cover is out of print, but I believe Amazon has a new one available, a newer uh, version, maybe not revised, but has a different cover. And uh, Stone Artifacts of Texas Indians. Ellen Sue Turner, Thomas Hester. Okay, there's a couple other books I recommend. Uh, when people ask me about just a general flint napping book, I always recommend this one here. Flint napping, understanding, making and understanding stone tools. John C. Whitaker. And for uh, just general lithics, uh, from an archaeologist's perspective, this one here, I recommend this one here. Now, I normally don't read manuals of archaeology, but I do um, I do read textbooks sometimes just to get an idea of how archaeologists um, see lithics and what their terminology is, so that when I'm reading, uh, you know, newsletters and publications from archaeological societies, I can pretty much understand what they're talking about. If you can understand this book, you can understand the majority of uh, publications by archaeological societies. Now, it might be hard to read. Uh, it's a textbook. And uh, reading in Drevsky is kind of like watching an archer shoot a target and hit all, right, all the way around the bullseye, really close to the bullseye, but never really getting it in. Uh, as far as flint napping goes and how he understands flint napping. But anyway, it's a good book. Okay, that's it.